I know my thumbnail is a little bit melodramatic, but uh, I kind of I have been feeling a pretty upset about what happened recently. And uh, let me just quickly cut to the chase. I've been using a Denon AVR 4306 for about 18 or 20 years now, and it was considered hi-fi audio, at least for a 5.1 or a 7.1 surround receiver. And it's been absolutely beautiful to experience over all this time. And the thing is, one day when I switched it on, there was suddenly no signal, there was no input. And by no input, I mean the digital section of the amp packed up. There's no optical in, there's no uh, HDMI in, it just wasn't responding. The analog segment of it is working, so I can plug in RCA cables and listen to stereo audio. So at least there's that plus point. But uh, it's, it's just refusing to take in any inputs from, let's say, uh, an ARC input or even uh, from a PlayStation. So it's, it's digital section is just dead. So uh, the good news is I do have a neighbor who's old school and he loves repairing audio equipment. But another uh, sort of speed breaker we hit with this amp is that the receiver rather, the surround receiver, uh, is that uh, there, there are just no schematics for it online. I have got... Uh, the service manual but there aren't any exploded views of assembly and disassembly so if you happen to know where i could get that uh, do let me know in the comments but uh, we have searched high and low across the internet and we have not been able to find it uh, the guys at profx will not look anything uh, at, at any receiver over two or, or even five years and this is a whole 18 or 20 years old so that's that's out of the question uh, so basically what i came to realize is that this amp is basically dead. So of course, I didn't just give up there. I did speak to my neighbor. Uh, he was keen on checking it out. He did open it up and there's a, a lot of complex stuff in this. So he didn't want to go in and damage things. So he was being very, uh, very cautious. So uh, uh, the next step was, okay, let me figure out if I can hook up some of my hi-fi gear to it. Now, the spare stuff I do have, well, it's not spare, but I do have a topping D50S DAC, which is a beautiful sounding stereo DAC that I use for my uh, LS50s. And even when I listen to my headphones, uh, I do listen to this DAC. But I do have a Fozzy Audio TB10D lying around, which was sent for review. And uh, I decided to sort of use that setup with the uh, with the amp, uh, or the Fozzy Audio amp, and the topping D50S, just to drive a stereo uh, setup. So my towers were being driven with this. I, I said, okay, it's going to work. I mean, at least it's, I'm going to get sound. But here's where I noticed a huge difference because uh, I know I'm an advocate for affordable hi-fi, like, you know, the IMs between 1500 to, let's say, 3000 and 4000 and so on. I, I, I do think they're superb, but here's where I saw quite a difference because I have acclimated to this amp over the last 18 years. I know what to expect when it comes to uh, separation for uh, surround. I know what uh, detail is through this amp. And uh, as soon as I plugged in the Fozzy Audio with the topping, it, it just didn't cut it. And, and, and this is what upset me the most because it was in this moment that I realized I had lost what seemed like a friend. And I know it sounds <laughs> like I'm being melodramatic, but uh, good sound kind of helps you connect to a lot of things, be it your music or your movies, so much more emotionally. In fact, I wanted to watch Star Wars recently and I couldn't because I didn't want to watch Star Wars in just stereo. So uh, the, the amp is just sitting and lying and hoping to be repaired someday uh, un, un, unless I do pick up a new one. But I don't want to give up uh, on this amp just yet. So one thing that this really did make me realize is that affordable hi-fi does exist today. Yes, it does. Uh, you can reach into the hi-fi hobby much easier than you could say eight or 10 years ago because things used to cost upwards of 20,000, 50,000 rupees if you really wanted to get into the hobby. But now, I mean, the fact that you're getting affordable IEMs for 1,500 rupees onward with the amount of detail there is superb. But at the same time, if you are somebody who's got a 1500 rupee IEM and you have something at home that you always listen to that's really high quality uh, and for some reason that packs up and you go to the 1500, you're, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna be able to connect to it. It's just, I think it's just part of this hobby because you evolve with the equipment you're listening to. You get more connected to the music, to the movies uh, and general content that you're listening to. So uh, I have felt kind of very disconnected with anything that I've watched because uh, I am watching, well, my, my TV is now on just stereo. I cannot listen to TV speakers anymore, uh, but uh, the, it is feeding it uh, through a, a left and right. So it's only the stereo speakers uh, that is being driven. Uh, and uh, I, I do use the topping uh, uh, DAC, but I do connect it directly to the Denon receiver because it does amp much cleaner than the the, uh, the Fozzy. Now, the Fozzy is a great piece of equipment for its price, but there is a difference between 
you know just normal power and clean power they didn't did put a lot of effort into making sure that this did have very high end components and those high end con components contribute towards a cleaner sound and the thing is i could see it and he should i say hear it because in that moment of losing that sound and trying to regain it it was very definite what the difference was so basically i'm still trying to get this alive i'll try and get it working uh, soon somehow we'll have to try and discover how we can go in without you know breaking things and messing it up uh, if any of you who are watching this do happen to come across an exploded view of this amplifier do let me know uh, it is the denin uh, avr 4306 it is ancient but it's a beautiful piece of equipment and basically what i'm saying is if ever you are getting into the hobby this is one thing to keep in mind uh, because you will evolve with your equipment uh, you will your ears will adapt to a cleaner sound sharper sounds uh, better detail uh, tighter bass you you'll just acclimate to it and then when you move over to something that isn't as good it is very noticeable and uh, a, a big reason why uh, i've been thinking about this in particular lately is um, i have had some affordable iems that i've reviewed recently and some people have said you know uh, it doesn't suit me or i don't like the sound or it's no not much better than uh, my wireless earphone so so th here's the thing uh, for me to realize how good this amp was I've been listening to it for 18 years and only after 18 years after it's died have I realized how good a sound it has been producing and if I want to match that I need to spend a hell of a lot of money on a really good amplifier to come close to uh, how good this amp sounds so uh, it's a bummer for me which is why I do want to try and get this working and I, I just like the concept of fixing things and making old things work a little bit better so if you feel my pain and you can help in some way do let me know uh, if uh, you can find these exploded views of assembly and disassembly for this amp in particular i'd be more than happy and so grateful if i can get my hands on this uh, because i do know uh, somebody who's very meticulous uh, with with a lot of audio equipment so he uh, my neighbor can open it and and sort of sort it out pretty well i'm very confident about how he can do it in fact uh, if you guys are watching this and you do want something sorted out let me know in the comments below i'll i'll show him the comment and see if he's uh, up to fixing some older stuff because he loves to tinker uh, so anyway that's it if you feel my pain uh, uh, try and help me out a bit uh, by finding that uh, little bit of information on this amplifier and i mean this isn't exactly sound device so uh, I'll sign off by saying I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.